Hey, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Piña Parata. Piña Parata? Yeah. Do you like Piña Parata? I do. And why? Well, it's just a fun game of a little bit of luck and card drawing. Yeah? yeah. Quick and simple card game? Mm -hmm. All right, well, why don't you tell me what it's about? What are you trying to do? You are trying to get uh, four of these tokens, like, into a treasure map of sorts. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like a lot. Where X marks the spot. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay. Everyone starts with one token. And how do you gain the others? You win around. Oh, you win around. That yeah. sounds mm -hmm. easy. And how do you win around? So, around starts with one card face up. And each player starts with eight cards. Ah, oh, that's a cool, cool characters. I mm -hmm. like the style of that. So there's uh, rats, octopuses, penguins, monkeys, there's um, turtles, and there's also wal there's crocodile, Paris, and there yeah, is parrots, walrus. Walrus, bunnies, and tigers. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of animals. A lot of animals. A lot of animals. And so all you're doing is matching animals to animals. So for example, yeah. what would you do on your turn? Let's see, I would see it's a monkey and a crocodile, though I have either of those. And I noticed some icons in the corner of those cards. It shows what ones are on there. So when you fan your cards out, mm -hmm. you can see pretty quickly what's there. Yes. Nice. Okay, so, so... I would play that. Because the monkeys match, and then what? And then the next person would go. Okay, well that sounds a little too easy. I don't think the game's that easy, is it? It's not. Okay, why not? So, first of all, if you can't play a card, you would draw a card, so okay. you would keep getting more cards. Okay. Plus, at the beginning of each round, a new one, a new tile comes out. Okay. Plus, you and start the game with, with two. two of those, and what do those do? They add special rules. Like, this one says all you pirates are jokers, as long as you have eight cards, which means you can play anything. anything. And this one, whenever you play a turtle... Put this adventure tile in front of you. When it's in front of you, you cannot play your last card. And you put it back in play at the end of the round. Oh, so those sound like interesting things to remember. So, you just hope someone else has a turtle in that case. <laughs> nice. Once one person has gotten rid of all their cards, then the round ends. Okay. The person who finished the round uh, will have to shuffle the deck. And they pick three of these adventure tiles. So they get to pick three and look at them? They look and at them all. What do you all. do with those? They say, all right, I will say this one will go out, because I don't like that one. Okay. This one will go out here as the new rule added. So out of those three, you pick one to become a new rule and added to the game. Yes, one goes out. Okay. And the other one? Goes as part of your map. Okay. So the winner gets to choose the new rule that's added, and then mm -hmm. you play another round with now three rules. Yes. Whee! So as you keep going, the cards are going to get crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. What are some of the crazy cards you've seen? I have seen whenever you play a crocodile, the person to your left skips the turn. Um, you have to play two cards on your turn. If you don't, you have to draw another card. If you... There was something with an octopus. Whenever yeah. you play an octopus, everybody else has to show a bunny from their hand or draw a card. Yeah, or... it's, they're confusing, but <laughs> it makes it more fun. Is it fun? Yeah. Well, sweet, so when does the whole game end? The whole game ends when one person has gotten four of these tokens. Okay. Well, we've found with a lot more players, it plays up to six. And with six yes. players, we typically don't play that many rounds because that's a long time. So no. we'll just have a set time limit and see who gets the most Tiles, by that time. Or yeah. if they actually manage to complete it. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Well, what would you rate Pina Pirata? I would rate it a 4.2. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, Caleb. Mm -hmm.